This is a tutorial for the Unreal Editor version 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. This is a follow-up to my first video in which we talked about navigating the interface, building your first room, and adding things like player start, light, weapons, and ammo. In this video, we're going to focus on brush creation in the editor. So let me first start uh, by creating the first subtractive brush. Let's make it big, so 2048 for all three attributes. And we'll select the texture from, let's say, UT Tech 1. So I'll select this one, which I think is called Cliff Brick 1. And then you hit the Subtract button over here. So this is our first room in the uh, editor. And now I'm going to show you the uh, additive brushes. Let's make a smaller one, a height of 64. And then we'll go 512. So we have a square platform. So you can see um, that it's always centered at the origin. So I'm just going to drag it down a bit so it's closer to the ground. Hold down the control key and the left mouse button. And I'll just put this in a dynamic view so that you can see the brushes as they move. And I'm going to move it over to the side. And let's choose a different texture so you can see it better. I'm going into flooring this time. And now instead of the subtract button, we're going to click on the add button, which is this one here. So now you can see that it's added one such brush. Now what I'm going to do is make uh, another platform. So first you need to move away this wireframe. Uh, so you hold down the control, the control key and the left mouse button and just move it out of the way. And you can see the brush here. So this is our platform. And as you can see, because it's additive, it's a blue color. Whereas the subtractive one, which is this big brush, it's a yellow color. So you can see the difference. So let me go back here now to this brush. And the easiest way to make another one, there's many ways to do this, but you could simply right click on the brush when it's selected and choose duplicate. And then you hold down the control key and the left mouse button to drag it over and put it into the spot that you want and make sure in all the grid views that it's aligned and now you can see that there is the second brush duplicated which is also blue and if I were to click on the build button you would see it appear so now we have two platforms and I'm going to do a third piece to join them in the middle and that'll be small so just a quick note about the grid size. Right now, the grid size by default is at 16. And so if you come up to here, you can see that there are eight squares. So eight squares times 16 is 128. So I will need a new brush, which is going to be 128. And I'll keep it the same height. And close that window. So there's my brush which is red, click on it so that it's bright red, and then again, hold down the control key and the left mouse button to drag it into the position that you want. So I just want to join that up there and make sure that it's aligned on all of your viewports. Okay, now you can click on the add button and I have my first platform. So the next thing I want to show you is that if you wanted to duplicate this whole piece, let me just move away the red wireframe. 
If you wanted to duplicate this whole piece, you could simply hold down your control key and click on each one. And then you could right click and select duplicate and that'll duplicate all three brushes and again you'll have to drag it over to the uh, the place so let me just show you that holding down the control key and the left mouse button making sure it's aligned and now hit the build button and you can see that I've duplicated those brushes But I'm going to show you another way to do it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these three brushes. So basically just use the delete key. And I'm going to show you another method for, do and let me hit build. I'm going to show you another method for doing this. So over here on the left, there is a button called intersect. And I'm going to show you that technique right now. What you need to do is you need to take your red brush, the wireframe, move that into the center. And this red brush has to be large enough to completely encircle the, your whole platform without touching any other surfaces. Because if you touch this wall here or this floor here, then it's going to capture part of that as the brush as well. All you want is basically just to completely surround these three brushes and nothing else. So uh, just doing some math here, uh, the height is going to have to be higher. So let's make this a height of 128. And then the width is going to have to be probably at least 1280. And it's too much so we're gonna just reduce it a little bit or actually I can just move this over a little bit there so that it's not touching any uh... like that so make sure in all of your viewports the top the front and the side make sure that this brush has completely surrounded it and is not touching any other brush and once you're ready to go then you can hit the intersect button and there's the brush so now what you can do is you can now move this red brush over and make sure that it's level uh, aligned properly on all three sites and now when you hit the add button it has a com it's a complete duplicate of that one so this will come in handy when you start to build more complex brushes you're going to do the effort to build them once then use the intersect brush to make copies of it and then you'll be able to place multiple copies of it in your map so then the next thing i want to show you very quickly is these are three different brushes so, uh, so you can see there's a surface here, a surface here, and a surface there. And if I wanted to align them to the floor, I'd have to control, hold down control, click on all three of them, right click, and align floor. So now the texture is smooth across the way. And then I can do the same thing on this brush. and align floor. But there's one advantage to this one. So if I remove, I'm just going to move the red one out of the way, the wireframe. This piece is only one brush. So now what I can do is I can right click on it, go to polygons, and merge. And then hit build. So now the difference between the two brushes is that the original ones are three different surfaces which need to be managed, whereas here it's only one surface. And then if I, in the future, want to change that texture to something else, it changes it once. So there's lots of different advantages to using the intersect. 
Um, and we'll probably touch upon that in a future video as well.